Hello, hello everyone. The stream is starting. Hi, Ron. Some st fun stuff planned for today. First of all, though, how's everyone doing today? Hope everything's well. I'm just going to do a uh, starter map. Just to, just to get my bearings, then we'll launch into what we're actually planning to do for the day. And also so that people can get here. Oh wait, I can't select anything because I already have a beastie, yeah, a beast, a beastie scarab. A burst air scarab. I wish you could have two master missions. That'd be nice. Ah, uh, the initial map lag. Let's just let everything sort itself out. I have this really unique a <laughs> really unique situation where one of the uh uh one of the gems that I'm using one of the support gems doesn't actually need to be leveled. It uh, doesn't matter whether it's level 1 or level 21. So I just keep re-leveling new power charge on crit support gems in this slot. All it needs is to exist and to have 20 quality, and I can level it like that. So, that's why this one's leveling again. But today... Well, I have a tiny bit of news. I... I don't know... I, I, I refuse to believe it's because of me, because I am way too small of a streamer slash YouTuber for it to, ha to have happened yet. But I can swear that the catalyst... Well, the, the catalyst prices have changed. Like, specifically the buying of catalyst has changed. Don't let's actually turn on the uh, music again. I've been noticing the price of Catalyst has gone up a lot, suddenly. And it started happening right after I did the video on it. And I don't know, it's probably just... A, it's probably just... What's the word I'm looking for? Coincidence, yes. It's probably just a coincidence. But it feels fishy that... I release a video on that, and suddenly all the prices change. <laughs> I mean, it did do pretty well. I think it got like 700 views or something. Here. Hey, get back here. Yep, yep. Back here. Where the fuck is it? Oh. There it is. Yeah, it's just awfully suspicious to me that that suddenly started changing. Because, like, I was often finding uh, catalysts for 1 to 3, like, pretty commonly. And now I'm struggling to find, like, 1 to 2. Which is interesting. And I mean, hey, if the money-making strategy has, has lived its lifespan, it's lived its lifespan, but... Uh, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of interesting that uh, the market seems to have changed suddenly.
Have I done any build changes the last stream? I don't think so. Not since I last talked about the build. This is my current uh, passive tree. I haven't really moved anything around lately. Hmm. Okay. I really want my last two skill points, though, because I'm going to get uh, max life and evasion here for another percent evasion chance. And I'm going to get the uh, increased damage per charge as well. That was going to be really nice. The increased damage per charge actually is like a really big damage buff for me, so I would love that. I just have to buy an XP service when I can find one available. It's pretty hard to go from 98 to 100, but I'm sure if I find... If I'm willing to pay the money, I'm sure I'll be able to find someone. That is, like, the main thing left to buy, though, for this build. I'm struggling to find replacements for most of my stuff now. Because I have the perfect implicit role on my gloves, for example, and the rest of the roles on them don't really matter. My boots have the ideal enchantment and have 30% quality, which is amazing, so I don't really want to change those. My chest plate is more or less perfect, with uh, the uh, plus two. Uh, oh, it's a metamorph. Chest plate's more or less perfect with the plus four. Actually, plus five with aura gems. My anathema's ideal with the flammability skill. I recently bought a new badge of the Brotherhood, so now I have I now have min rolled a chance to lose charges on both max rolled effective elusive and almost max rolled cooldown recovery. This one I do want to get to thirty quality, so there's that. But the the cast speed is perfect, and the implicit's rolled almost perfectly, so there's no real reason to change that. And I'm just having to decide if there's anything I want to do with the Spirit Shield, because I might dump the 15% increased spell damage on it and go for a Corrupt Implicit, because there are things I could get that would benefit me. And then that just leaves... Well, the Stygian Vise, which has a lot of money worth of Catalyst gone into it. Uh... I don't know if I'll be able to beat this particularly easily, so I think that's that's probably one of my things I, I might be able to replace. My Hypnotic Eye Jewel is next to perfect for what I need it for. It has two max rolled uh, attribute point stats, which is awesome. That kind of just also leaves uh, my Tri-Res max power charge... Uh, double tier, no, uh, tier 1 and tier 3 life together, which is very hard to replace, too. I'm looking at getting just basically the same thing, except for not, uh, not corrupted, so I can add enchantment to it. That's basically my only upgrade for that. And <sighs> this ring is so specific that I don't know if I could replace it with anything that would actually be better. But most of my gear is pretty fucking good. It's pretty hard to change much of it at all. I was looking at maybe getting some uh, some corrupt implicits on my grand spectrums, but little did I know that since when I bought them for like three or four div, they are now up to eleven to twelve div each. Which is ridiculous, to say the least. So, I have 33 div worth of Grand Spectrums right now, and if I try to corrupt any of them, the chance that I'll just destroy one of them is way too high to want to risk 11 div per, per risk, basically. 
If we saw the old uh, harvest just like add a random uh, implicit, like synthesized implicit, that'd be great. But we don't have that anymore. At least I don't think we have it. So I'm a bit at a loss for what to really do for this build now. <laughs> Besides, like, pay for XP services. That's that's the main thing, is buying XP services. And then maybe one day getting a power charge helmet that has... Or crafting a power charge helmet that has... Um, oh, getting a bit busy here. Getting a wee bit busy. Ah, oh gosh. Very busy. <laughs> so crafting a maximum power charge helmet that I can actually enchant. Or maybe having an enchanted helm and then crafting max power charges onto it? I don't know. It's I, I don't really know how to achieve that because I don't like running the lab for really any reason. The lab is just very uncomfortable for me, I find. I will probably be doing the uh, the tier 16 lab, just to like test out what my capabilities are. So that'll probably be fun, but I don't know. I probably won't. I don't really want to spend too much time going through the lab trying to find... The enchantments I need, because I just, I can, it just feels like torture to me. Class hands. We're working on the class hands to get uh, the amount we need for the. Whoa! That... I definitely saw chaos damage there. Oh, I more or less cleared this area. 34 monsters remaining, but I don't really care. So today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing some Grand Heist stuff. I have 13 wings spread across four Grand Heists of unusual jewels, or unusual gems. So we're going to be getting some awesome alt-quality gems. I'm very much looking forward to, because some of those are very valuable. Main reason why I like Heist. When we finish that, we'll probably do some uh, replica heisting, too. It's a pretty good map. Stuff away. I don't need all these in my inventory at once. I'm just gonna have the uh, good ones with me, or just or just whatever I'm working on at the time. So this is what it's looking like. Uh, this one's just a basic two wing, not really any good rooms. Uh, this is a four wing. It has six div card chests. I'm sorry, six div card rooms and nine currency rooms, which is ridiculous. We have the six currency rooms and four div card rooms here, and five currency rooms and three div card rooms here. So we've got some bonus stuff beyond just the uh, just the base basic gems too. Nope, 
That is not where it is. There it is. Still getting lost in my hideout. Hey Pyro, welcome to stream. Okay, so I do actually have a minor build change that I do for Heist specifically. Uh, so I take my, I usually have a uh, cast when stunned here with uh, fate, with uh, withering step and hand support uh, to give me phasing and and so on. Uh, I swapped out withering step for phase run because phase run doesn't use the same. Uh, it doesn't have the same cooldown as as tra other travel skills, unlike withering step, which does. Also, this can be increased by eating frenzy charges, and I usually have ten frenzy charges, so it tends to go up pretty fast. Uh, so in uh, high specifically, I swap out uh, cast one stun support or increased duration, so that I can just activate phase run whenever it's off cooldown, basically. And whenever it's not working, I just use my five flame dashes. It's actually made me a lot faster. I swapped out the elusive from Withering Step to get uh, Stealth from Phase Run. I have no idea how that works. Like, I genuinely don't know how Stealth works in this game, because I know that it had... It had a place in the game, and then people figured out how to use it to get a hundred percent, just a hundred percent uptime on all monsters ignoring you. And then they changed it to to like what we know as stealth now. And since then, I have not figured out what it does. So I don't know if this is going to be as good as elusive, which gives you just chance to avoid damage. But I mean, hoping for the best. Also, the buff on this doesn't decay like Elusive does, which is nice. Okay, first Grand Heist. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did I not... Oh, I missed one with uh, assigning jobs. Oops. Okay. Lena. Mars. Net. That's going to be a very, very low alert level thing. That's 14%, 54%, 74% less raising of alert level. Well, we'll be able to open every single chest available there. Uh, Talina for less alert. Oh, wait. No, because there's agility here. So Talina for agility. Cars for lock picking. And then I guess we'll pick up Vendiri to hope we can double some of the currency. I think Nanette probably. Try to counter the 30% more alert level. That's 60% there, so we'll still have 30% less alert level. When we get to the... Uh... Try it again. When we get to the reward room, I'll go over how I do how I deal with unusual gems specifically, because there's a method I use to it. I don't just memorize all the good gems. Okay, I always start the northern point and work clockwise. So this yeah. This has two currents three currency rooms.
Phase run. Try to make sure that whenever I do ag agility that it's Talina because agility takes so long. And I have specialized her. Since that is her specialty, realistically. Ooh, I got the double from Vendiri. Wipe out the guards. Oh, got the double again. Four chaos orbs, nice. Okay, so I'm going the wrong way. I took the scenic route. If you open both chests at the same time, I believe it doesn't trigger the second set of guards rising up from the floor area. Okay, so we should be good now. Yeah, we're home free. No more chests to open. Oh, <gasps> primer grading lens. Ooh, anomalous shield crush. Two primer grading lens. Okay, that is both lucky. Are you fucking kidding me? There's two primer grading lens and a secondary grading lens, and I can only pick one of them. Ugh. <laughs> This is, like, lucky in the worst way possible. Uh, I don't think I have... I have chance to not not start the alarm on uh, in a grand heist, but it's only, like, a 2% chance on Vendiri. So I have, like, a 2% chance of being able to take a second one of these. Oh, gosh. Okay, well... Let's check... How much the lenses are. Secondary or grading lens is about three div. <sighs> okay, cool. So Oh, I mean, I'm gonna get the two percent chance, irregardless whether, like, I'll, I'll like, I'll be rolling the two percent chance, irregardless what I want to do. Okay, so this is how I do uh, grand heist: is I have an anomalous skill gem uh, window open for Poe Ninja, a divergent one, and a phantasmal one. So for here, for Path of Exile, or uh, Plague Bearer. Like bears, not worth very much money. And anomalous shield crush. Okay, yeah. So it'll be the regretting lens. Usually I have more things to check than just the two, but today I do not. I know I'm not gonna get it, but please. Okay. Well, whatever. That's that's three div. I'm not gonna complain about that. Oh shoot. Lena. Zoom. Nope. Wrong door, Talina.
Oh, I guess I have to go this way. Yep, no laser dog. Then back there. Okay. Should be fine to keep going. I'm just gonna leave that there. Everything in in the in this instance area here will be fine. It's saved on the ground until I end the grand heist, so I can just leave that there. And it's not really worth very much, so if it did poof for some reason, it doesn't matter to me. So you can leave extra shit that's not very valuable, but you want to keep there if you don't want to go back out and clear your inventory. Okay, so we have two currency rooms and a wrong button being hit repeatedly. Uh, oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Okay, that did not go well. I got a bunch of alert level from that. I want that silk shoe. I'll give that to Lena. That'll give her uh, increased agility speed. Okay, so I won't be able to open all three of these, so I'm probably going to skip one of the currency ones. I won't have. I doubt I'll have enough uh, enough alert level. The most important thing, though, is not the currency ones. It's the div card ones, because I find the div card ones generally give the best average amount of money. Okay. Fun fact, when the, uh, so the bar is going to appear when they're working on something. As soon as the bar goes away, you don't have to be anywhere near there anymore. You can just, like, like teleport away, basically. And it doesn't matter, it's not going to interrupt them. Once the bar is, is gone, in, it, you've successfully opened it. It's just going to trigger the animation no matter what happens at that point. I get a fifth chest. Uh, yes, I can get one more chest. Like the last one. Anomalous minefield support. Diversion increased area of effect. Diversion energy blade. Uh, uh, anomalous sacrifice support and anomalous flammability. That's actually the one that I usually if I don't have it on if I'm not using the one that's as an implicit. Okay. M ability. So it'll go up to 5 div potentially if I can corrupt it. Uh, I usually go by the value at uh, 2020 uncorrupted, so that's 85. And then I have the anomalous sacrifice. There we are. Wait. Hey. There we are. Okay. Sacrifice, not really worth anything. If you see the 2020 at the top and there's the little medi like low confidence thing, that means that no one's buying it at all. Virgin Ender Shield, Divergent Increased Air Effect, and Anomalous Minefield Sword. Nope. Increased Air Effect and Energy Blade now. Go over to my Divergent tab. Blade not worth anything, and increase. Their effect, 95 at 2020. 
but it doesn't have as good of a corruption. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna bank on the corruption. One of these days, I'm going to be able to open the Curio cases more than once. But the chance is just so low. I think I managed to get like a total of 4 or 5% last league chance to uh, be able to open it twice. And that was the best I've managed so far. Again, that's actually pretty hard to get. And it's if you buy it, it's expensive. So I, I had to craft it. Okay. Dump inventory. Okay, I put this in the ice tank. Let's see, what does Delina have? Oh yeah, she has a level two agility. Dang, that's that's really bad. Let's see, what can I get for her? Agility speed, okay. Twenty percent is the uh, tier one. I'd ideally like to get higher. Is something over? There we go. Ten percent chance generate additional reveal. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, prime regretting one. Where does this even go? Oh, it doesn't have a spot. Uh eh. hold that later. Put this away. Let's check. 2% chance to not activate lockdown in Grand Heist. That's the uh that's the modifier right there that you need to get. It only appears on cloak. But it is very expensive to say the least. Let's see. Oh, it's actually not that bad. But as you can see, outfitting all nine of your rogues in it is kind of a challenge, so... And be a thing. I should actually buy some more, though, if... Like, this is actually reasonable by comparison to the price of the gems that we're going for. Oh, it's a bit late to ask this question, but... Uh, voice, sound, music, in-game sound, is everything all able to be heard? How is the sound balance? That's what I'm trying to ask. Please, thank you. Lots of stack decks. That's a level four. Yeah, I can take level four. One. Don't want to lose another chest locked in. That would be sad. Go. Everyone come over here. Activate the chest, please. Yeah, we just skipped the second set of guards by uh, activating them fast enough. 
or opening them both fast enough. Awesome, good to hear that it sounds fun. I always have the in-game sound, I always intend to have the in-game sound, the music, and my voice all being able to equally be heard at all times. So if you don't hear one of those things, there's probably a problem. Anomalous haste. Odom place. Oh wow, that's interesting. Virgin incinerate. Anomalous grace. Ooh. Hands to avoid ail ailments. That's probably valuable. Okay, well, let's do the diversions first. Because I think that's the least likely to be valuable. So, for divergence, we have uh, X Blast and Incinerate. X Blast. So the 2020 is 55 and has a chance to go all the way up to 5 div. That's pretty good. Incinerate's probably not worth anything. No, not really. Now for the actual thing I think is going to be valuable. Well, Anomalous Vol Haste is 35 div. So that's double corrupt, but still. Haste. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth a div just normally. That is really, really good. Okay, uh, Grace. Grace is worth a lot of money, but a little bit less. And our final one was Contagion. That's probably used, but yeah, it's not as valuable. Okay, that would mean going for haste. Well, if I'm lucky, I might be able to double corrupt this and get what the most expensive in the list of anomalous gems. That would be crazy. And that finishes this grand heist. Also, I saw we got a Elders Decay here. These were didn't used to be worth much money, but now that the Uber Elder Fragments are worth so much, let's see. So the uh, the sh the ones that the Shaper drops are around 150. These were flipped before. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, four cards to get either a seven, a 70 chaos thing or a 150 chaos thing. So these cards are going to be worth at least at least 80, not 80 chaos. That doesn't. Uh, at least 20, 25 chaos a piece. So these are really, really nice. I'm gonna put them aside. And you, Anomalous Haste, are going immediately into here to level. You're more important than everything else I have. Next one. Another, another four wing. The one with the six currency. A northeast. So we have the uh, nation cards and we have the fossil. That's it. That is it. Okay.
Yung... I'll run to the corner usually so that I can get the NPCs to come close enough that they'll actually activate the chest instead of just mindlessly attacking the random guards that I don't need to even deal with, because what are they going to do? Try to kill me? I don't have... <laughs> I'm pretty frickin' durable. I don't think anything's gonna kill me easily, so... They can beat on me as much as they want. Just need my people to focus. Ooh, a Shuddering Fossil. Not Didn't mana. Those used to be worth, like, three chaos. They might worth a bit more if they're if it's gonna be like oh it's so amazing Whoa. ah actually wait it doesn't matter if i have them done almost earthquake almost static strike a prime regretting lens which is worth a div div uh an almost body swap and divergent flicker strike Yeah, I'm just going to be checking the uh, gems off, str off stream because you you all have already seen me do it. It's uh, <laughs> I just wanted to show how to do it. If uh, anyone's like trying to look for an efficient way to, oh my god, a divergent twenty one twenty vol flicker strike. It's twenty div. Wow, okay, this is probably what I'm getting, what I'm picking up then. It's it's normal 2020 uncorrupted is better than the primer grading lens, so I'm going to actually go for the long haul there. Static strike, anything, EQ. Nope. And finally, body strike. I would absolutely go for body swap if it wasn't for the divergent flicker. Because body swap is around 4 or 5 div for the... Kill some things, get some frenzy charges. Press the wrong button there. I'm not looking. Okay. Aw. I got knocked out of the phase run. And it ate all my charge. Now I can. Turn it. Triggering do I just get stunned and that's triggering my my phase run to break? On there. Maybe the uh Huh. Maybe the mines going off turns off phase run. Okay, I okay. Throw mine. Hit detonate. Hit phase run. Okay, that close turns off my phase run. Where does that turn off my phase run? I'm not triggering anything. Oh, if there's mines on the ground, I wonder if the detonate skill is still active, so it immediately breaks the phase. That's a mixture of unfortunate and obnoxious. 
Okay, so we have currency given frags. Well, prime things always the div cards, the currency. I don't usually get any like crazy good currency stuff dropping, so I don't usually beyond the div cards. I mean. I do have a uh, thieves trinket that transmit that can change uh, orbs transmutation into chaos orbs, but besides that, like, I don't really have currency based thing. Walk back here. Oh my God, get back here. Thank you. Round four. Wait. Oh, ten awakened sections. Nice. Start buying underground forest if cards are valuable. Or if they're cheap, because they're definitely valuable. And confirm with detonate mines will cancel fate. Mines play. Oh. Well, fuck. I feel like it wasn't doing that with Withering Step. Virgin Exsanguinate, Asmal Ice Nova, uh, Anomaly. Bone Chill. Anomalous Bone Chill is worth a lot of money. It's 110 chaos, and it corrupts either into uh, 2023 for 2. 4 div or a 2120 for 9 div. That's probably the one I'll go for. Phase run corrupts into a 2 div thing. Not as good. And Nightblade is. Oh my god! Nightblade is even better. A 2020 uncorrupted is 2 div. A 2023 is 3 div, and a 2120 is 12 div. This is why I keep checking even after I think I know what I'm going. Sanguinate is decent, but not as good, and Phantasmal Ice Nova is useless. Frenzy charges so I can phase. Okay, I appreciate that doing the league mechanic interaction to tell them to do stuff isn't does not actually break your phase run. Run like the wind. Eh. Okay. Down. And we've gotten some really valuable stuff to pop up today. Okay. There, and the flicker strike I'm also start working on. Oh, this is done. Now I have a 120 so that I can level it in a slot.
don't move with left click and you can start detonate the detonate chain and it won't break phase run. Uh Uh, it def that definitely broke the phase run. Unless I'm not understanding you. It's also quite possible. Two div card one. Here. Hot stack deck. 63 stack decks is a full div, so this is a very lucrative way to do things if you don't walk past the current. Yay! Alt shard. Just one. Doom. Ah! <laughs> That's the careful's right, Talina. <laughs> need to be careful. Up. Oh, excuse me. Um. Does anyone else see that? I mean, it's really cool looking, but that's probably not supposed to happen. What was causing that? Like, I assume it's because of the Trail of Fire, but I don't know why the Trail of Fire is doing that. Oh, that's weird. Everyone in the corner. Ooh. We got a duplication on the diff cards there. Almost Blade Storm and Almost Animate Weapon. Urgent Pen. Urgent Shock No Anomaly. Picture weapon throw sixty. Blade storm's not worth it. No, because it's shitty scale. Oh. Okay, blade storm's worth something. I don't know why, because it's a shitty skill. <laughs> weapon not good. Uh, point no. And Shock Nova. Special Weapon Throw, I believe, probably my best. Yeah, it's my best bet. It can be corrupted into something as well. So, it will get lucky. I love running really fast. So good. Sense of speed really well implemented in this game. It's unfortunate the devs just hate people. I don't know why. Like one of the most fun parts of the game, and these games are essentially power fantasies. So, making you feel weaker is not a good thing for the game.
uh, lots of stuff here. Three currency rooms add an oil. Only those seven transmutation orbs that turned into chaos orbs. I wonder if it rolls for the stack or if it rolls for each of them and then they stack. Six chaos orbs. That was probably that was probably it right there. No, that's three chaos orbs that's been doubled. I have doubling for given currency on most of the most of the amulets of, of most. Plus, I have Vindiri here to also have a chance to double things, which can result in a quadruple. But that's rare. Lots of stuff. Step, step. Oh, I miss go. But that's what I was right. All this grit. Old my ice people. Can I open this? I can, okay, so I can blow one of these. The other one I'm going to ignore because I can't open it without setting off the alarm. Tibbs can open two chests, though, after the alarm has been set off, so on that. Hail. Chaos. Seismic cry. I already know the shock knob is. Wild strike. Divergent wild strike. AB ninety C corruption shattering steel uh no already forgotten which one hail this is why I don't like the maven's memory game cuz i have like no memory of of which to speak Okay, Tibbs, open this. Up, Garst. Nope, oh, not that way. And Lena. Zoom. No. No, why no zoom? Aw, it killed my zoom. So sad. We'll have another full div of stack decks now. Wait, what gem was that? That was the spectral. 
Whatever. I don't need to. Starting leveling up. Yeah, I got stuff to level. Once this finishes leveling, pop that. I do this one to the a really quick run with no chest to open. Then we'll do the big one. The nine currents and the div card room. This one's just a uh, double wing instead of a quad wing. Oh. Move too fast and go through the door before they've removed the bombs. Actually, yeah, I'll grab this. The gems can be worth really. More importantly, gem cutters. 18 gem cutters. About to double on that. Oh, wait, I don't need to bother with this. I don't care if it's hurt. Not good at hitting moving targets. Rage and all this. Ice trap. Under div corruption to six. Rage. Fifty div corruption. Five div. Almost chain hook. That is definitely not worth any. I'm not going to check. Panic. Fissure. Nothing and divergent penance for look into trying penance spring. I believe it just saves up energy over time and then a blow whatever it's attached to. Vendere is just walking onto the landmines and he does not trigger any of them. Ugh. That's so immersion breaking. <laughs> not that I care about immersion, but like. Still, it's dumb. Doom. Doom! Yeah. Doom! Yeah! <laughs> I, still have, I still have it running. <laughs> wow, that was a long phase run. Okay, phase run is a lot better if you spam it. Looks of it. Yum. Yum. I could have even more cooldown reduction since I'm a saboteur, too. I could, like, have mega zoom. Virgin summon holy relic. My corruption is... Herald of Agony, ooh. Given a half of the 2020. Plus it goes up from there. 
probably what I'm getting. Burr, I'm not checking conversion crap. Name. Nope. And corrupt. Virgin corrupting fever. That actually might be worse. Uh, yes, but not as much as the Herald of Agony. Wait. Herald of Agony? Herald of Agony, yeah. Zoom. Ah! Wrong button! <laughs> I don't need... I don't need Vol Righteous Fire right now. Bad time! It's like fat fingering it. Ugh. Debs hit it. Thank you. Legendary's taking... Very Talina? Someone's taking a sweet time to open the fucking door. Zoom. Oh, long zoom. Whee! I wanted to enjoy the last bit of zoom before I went to the portal. <laughs> oh. Up this way for now. Who remembers Crackling Lance Assassin? Or, as it was affectionately known at the time, Ass Crack. Ah, uh, the good old days. Okay. Last Grand Heist, the big one. Look at all those currency rooms. <laughs> yeah, Astrak was a big thing for a while. Something like they changed crack Crackling Lance, I believe, because of how broken it was with Assassin at times. Okay. I need as much alert level as I can. Or. I need to maintain my alert level as best I can. This particular. Honey. Someone open the. Thank you. Oh, they've got the double on the gift cards, but not on deck decks. Okay, that activated. Here. See? Any other div card ones here? One more div card one. Uh, yeah, I should be able to open that just fine. I should be able to open another three chests after this. Oh, that was a Vendiri double, because we got uh, two Diamond Flasks as well. Well, if Jesus is nice. Yeah, okay, I should be able to open four. I'd love a specter with one of these, like, caster things. That would be amazing, because those casters are br the ones that cast, like, the beam. I'll, I'll point them out, because we're going to see them again in a second. Tell off everything else. Right. I believe it's... Oh, the auto-enforcers? 
No. That? Something? Yeah, it's this thing. Got it. Got destroyed. I think it's the auto enforcer. Why is we got all eight rooms? Rage Vortex, not valuable. Divergent Malevolence. Divergent Intensify. Pesmal Flame Wall. Divergent Hex Blast. Okay. I think we have a few valuable things here. Okay, let's try the, the Malevolence first. About a little bit less than a div for 2020, and then it goes up to 5 for 20. It intensifies, not valuable. X Blast. X Blast can become more valuable than the Malevolence, but. It has a lower guaranteed return. Flame wall. That's decently valuable, but not as much as malevolence. Yeah, because the divergent malevolence is almost a div. It goes if you corrupt into a twenty twenty three, you make make money. If you corrupt corrupt into a twenty one twenty, you make money. And if you just sell it as is, you make money. So it's still half a div, even if you fail the corruption. That's good. Where are you? Sometimes I forget that you have to click on the case and not the window. This thing, whatever these things are. I want a specter of this thing. They also look really good. Boom. And dare you open that. Left here, across through here. Ah, you don't want to teleport you back, and it still uses your charge. Wait, oh, that was the wrong way. Damn it! Uh, yeah, I'll run back to the to town. I have enough stuff in my inventory that I don't want to risk stuff. Oh, and don't worry, we're gonna open div cards after we're done here. Like we're go we're gonna do uh oh like a big div card opening. Not on the, the shitty ones that, like, we know what they're going to give. Or, not this one. We don't know what that's going to give. But, like, the obliteration and the alteration. We won't do those ones. But, like, the ones that are going to be an actual interesting thing, potentially. I'll do those. Also, fun kind of combo uh, money-making strategy. I can open. And I'll open one. I'm not going to risk. So fun combo ma make money making strategy. If you like to do stuff like heisting, uh, usually what I'll do is like I'll get together a bunch of heists. I'll do all of them, and specifically the unusual gem ones because they're good money, and. I'll try to do that before I get uh, an XP service, 
because then you can level those gems during the XP service when you're getting a ton of XP. Otherwise, it can take a while to get through this many gems. But, like, I'm going to be buying an XP service for 98 to 100, so I'm going to be able to level a lot of gems in that process. Also, complete side note to everything I've been talking about. Why do primal incubators exist still? Why do talismans exist still? They're pretty much always worse than the, their rare option. And even if they are better, no one bothers to look at them. Like, actually see if there's a better option. Oh! An Iolite ring. Those, I'm pretty sure those are rare, because I don't think I've seen one of those in a long time. Okay, right, let's open the door. Ladder up. That's a metamorph thing that I probably should have. Probably should have skipped the legion. Actually, no, it's fine because I have Tibbs. Tibbs will open the uh, two metamorph chests after I activate the alarm. But even if I'm not going to be opening the chests yet, I'm definitely opening the door. Because that is not something you want to be waiting on when you're in danger. Urgent blood and sand. L version. Sounds interesting. Okay. Anomalous first. Whirling blades. 50 corruptive. A lot of weird ones here. Okay. Urgent. Battle Mage's Cry, not valuable. Blood and Sand, not valuable. Now two Phantasmal. Phantasmal Body Swap doesn't have any general corruption stuff, but it says it's worth a div just to sell the 20. Shrapnel Ballista is not going to be worth it. Or, okay, yeah, I'll just go with the Phantasmal Body Swap and hope I can sell it. They are good for one league. I think it was Blight League mainly due to the anointments they can be fa that can be found on them naturally. Yeah, I mean, their anointments are good. Uh, the fact that you can't edit the uh, Talisman at all does kind of... <laughs> does kind of reduce their usefulness... But, uh, I like. I'm trying to think what place they could possibly be put into the game that would actually make them like a useful part of the game. But as far as I can tell, just they're just another thing that needs to be removed. I'm sure Talisman League was great when Talisman League was a thing, but Talismans are not not useful now that they're not in Talisman League. Didn't they make them not corrupted for a little while, too, or something? I vaguely remember something weird like that. Iolite is not worth it. 
That is a very good life roll and a good dex roll, though. An Iolite. On an Iolite, that roll is worth 75 or 60 chaos, let's say. I don't know if this is going to be worth 60 chaos, but. You know what? It's probably not going to sell very well, so I'm just going to put it in the 29 section. And Abyssal Incubator. Okay, so up the northeast, northwest, or sorry. Northeast, southeast, and now we're doing northwest. And then southwest. No. We're doing northwest, and then we're doing south. No. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> doing the top left one after the bottom left one. Risk, Aventor's Gamble. Eight stack decks. Oh, that's so good. Hmm. Get your butts over here. Uh, shouldn't have opened that then, because then they get distracted by the guards, and they're like, oh, i got to fight these guys instead of helping you. No, stop fighting. I don't need you to fight. You just shut up and lockpick. I will say of like all the parts of this game that I like from like a story standpoint, Heist is like the one that I like the most. Thinking like, I, I really do like the different ice character how they interact. They're lifelike. They're three D, three dimensional character, not just boring one dimensional ones. Uh, uh, I can open one of. That's a risk to even open one of them. I'm going to go do the divination card ones. These are the more valuable ones. Ever into the corner. Okay, so I will be able to open a currency one. Just barely. Oh, look at that on the uh, alert level. You can barely see it, but there is a, like, one or two millimeter sliver right there. <laughs> oh, and we got the double knife. Okay, so we'll just have to give up on the last chest, unfortunately, but whatever. Corrupting Fever, Anomalous Ice Shot... Almost Bane, almost Arctic. Almost Arctic armor is decent. Okay. That is 100% on me. I was being cocky and ignoring him. <laughs> Wow, okay. 
Uh, thankfully, I did not actually trigger the alarm yet. So I can walk back in. <laughs> and walk all the fucking way back. Wow, okay, yeah, no, that was 100% my fault. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> if those went off, it would have triggered the alarm. I got clipped by any of those alarms, alarm things. Oh my god. That was entirely my fault. Ugh. Like, yeah, no, no, I have full health, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. <laughs> possibly go wrong. Things fine. Oh my god, I dropped 28 stack decks. That would have been so so awful had I not Oh. That would have been really bad had I not been able to come back in for it. Oh, that w I would have been so upset. <laughs> okay, Arctic Armor. Half a div. That goes up to a div. Most Bane. Probably useless. I'll still check. It is worthless. Red Banner. It is... Oh my god! Uh, mm, what? An Uncorrupted 2020 is 7 div? On a normal dread banner? Seven div? Uh, okay, I'm still gonna check the other ones. Yeah, okay, that's. I don't think anything can. And I know diverging, divergent corruption isn't gonna beat it. Okay, yeah, uh, this is mine now. Oh my gosh, if I died and I lost the chance of that? Oh, that would have been so punishing. And I mean, it would have been fair, considering considering that was entirely my fault. Doom. Doom. No. Damn it. Doom. Doom. Whee! I've actually been thinking of making a uh, character specifically for heisting, a raider that's like really fast. I'll dump this stuff off. You nearby allies have a chance to impale enemies on attack. You nearby allies have 15% increased impale chance. Nearby enemies have 20% less accuracy rating. Nearby enemies deal 1% less damage. Oh, it's the less damage multiplier! Because at 100% uh, aura effect... That would be 4% less damage to everyone around you. At 200%, which is very reasonable for an Orobot to get to, that would be 6% less damage. At 300%, that would be 8% less damage to everyone. That's, that's why it's so expensive, because that's ridiculous. Okay, so... What is less important? Uh, oh gosh. Not much, actually. I guess the Awakened Brutality isn't as valuable. Oh, I have lots of good gems now. Ooh. We're closing in on... 2 div now, because it'll be 128 stack decks is 2 div. Nice. I also got another foliate broke. Top of the fortification that it's a super. Ah, wait. Fortification. Yeah. 
Gain plus 10 to max fortification. Oh, wow. Oh, it has inherent increased aura effect based on the stages. So if you're at 50 stages, then you have 50%. Oh, my God. So you only need 250% increased aura effect to get 300. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's a really, really good gem. Now, let's see. Actually, I'll roll that after. I only have one wing left to do anyway. I need to clip myself just, like, ignoring that stupid... A uh, unique boss, and then just getting pummeled by it. <laughs> okay, so I have two currency rooms and a div room left. I said currency rooms are just nowhere near as good as the uh, div card rooms. A lot of maps. So many maps. That must have been a god touched rare. That's the only explanation for why it dropped six maps. Nope. Kill everything this time so that they can focus on their job. Oh, wait, no, I can just tell them to. I don't need to wait for them to figure out that there's something for them to do. I don't need the wings. Actually, I could probably roll that into something. Craft it. Sure, I'll take this too. Oh, that was good. Divergent Hex Bloom, Divergent Frost Blades, that's probably valuable. Anomalous Despair, probably valuable. Divergent Desecrate is not the valuable one. Stormbrand. Okay. Stormbrand. 90C. Oh, go away. Not taking chances. Not after, not after dying already. Because I took the stupid chance. Okay, despair. Ooh. 110 div. Corrupted to three and a half. And. X blooms. 40C. Frost. Blades. 80C. Corrupted to four div. Uh, if the f divergent, if the frost blades fail, though, drops down to fifteen, and the bear it fails, drops down to a hundred. So that's still probably the despair is probably the one I'll go for. That's a great fifty.
Yeah, I'll go to the spare. Heard something drop, but I don't care. Oops. I did not mean to trigger face run. That was not good. It was not a good time. Back as much stuff as I can, get frenzy charges, and run. Damn it! God damn it. Wee! Oh. Damn it. That's it! Wee! No! Stop breaking my face, run! I'm being bullied! Oh, not you. Cool, we got so we we picked up about two div worth of stack decks today. Oh, we got a guard meadow. There can go in here. Eventually, I'll socket all of these gems into uh, my white socketed armor for the XP services. Because then you can just. With the uh, five way XP service, you just basically stand in one spot near the Aurobot, and you don't need to be able to attack or anything. You just need to be able to stand there and withstand damage. So, just a bunch of stuff with max life on it, then some dex and strength, just to make sure that I'm able to uh, equip everything I want to equip. Bit of armor, bit of evasion. I still have one more unusual gems one, but unfortunately, I only have one of ten of the uh, currency rooms unlocked, and I don't want to run that till I have all of them. And I have no reveals right now. Actually, did I? I can't. I can't earn reveals through doing grand heist size. Still on everything. I'm gonna do one. Where is it? Replica? Uh, replica. Uh, I'm gonna do one replica one. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother to reveal any of it. I'm just gonna take it as is, because I have enough. Cur I have enough contracts, or I do have enough contracts, but I have enough blueprints at this point that there's no point. There's no point revealing extra stuff when I'm already not getting through all the blueprints that I have. I don't usually do any of the other blueprints besides the unusual gems, so... I don't really want to waste my reveals on things that aren't the... Ah, uh, shit. That's not a really good set, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, if I did all the contracts I need to do to uh, unlock all the extra grand heists, besides the unusual gem ones, like, I just wouldn't bother with heist. <laughs> it's better to just waste some of the con the potential of the shitty contracts. Okay, so one currency room. It's unfortunate that the uh, laboratory doesn't do unusual isn't unusual gems because I do actually like the laboratory layout and like the feel of the room and, of the rooms and stuff. They're all really nice. I just I don't know, I like the mad scientist style. Let me through the dark. 
most dangerous foe of them all, the dope. <laughs> Why are doors so hard? Oh, got an ancient orb. Nice. Two ancient orbs. Two of each. Okay. So I, I recently just made a list of every single one of the replica items with the intention that the replica items I don't have in standard. Uh, in my unique tab, I want to get replica fan coil. I do not have that in standard, and it's not worth any money. Volker's Guidance. I also wrote down, like, what's valuable and what isn't. Volker's Guidance. I do have in standard and also isn't valuable. Okay. Fen Coil it is. I think I might start doing more replica ones. Just because... I can because I can get replicas so that I can put them into my collection because I, I like to collect things so I want to eventually have every single unique in the game available in one collection that I can just reference anytime I want for builds crafting well like for both practical reasons and for the fact that I just like that okay. Lag. Cool. My replica fen coil can go in here, and it will go into my standard stash at the end of the league. I got a lot of ancient orbs. We're nearing the end of the stream, which means we are going to go through our div cards, see if we can get anything cool. Okay, I don't want Okay, these are the interesting ones. I don't want to do the guaranteed ones. Yay! <laughs> Minion gem. SRS, nice. So I don't think SRS is just valuable on... Maybe if I level it. Oh, actually, let me make it so that you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. If you can't see, like, anything above level 1 in this initial list, it usually means that it's valuable when leveled. So, SRS is, like, a really common build, so. Agnarod East. Nice. And Agnarod South. Awesome. Those are really useful for making the Vinktar Square. Venter's Gamble. That is awful. <laughs> Photos Devotion, 20 Gem, Cruelty Support, not that valuable, Blessing of Moosh, aww, Moosh was cute, Warlord's Mark Curse Effect, oh, well there's none, there's none on a Crown of Thorns probably because that's not a very good fit, but I'll have to check that. Navron's Pace. Map. Oh, why do I have these? 
Or is Lantern, Malevolence, or Effect? Let's see. Actually, no, I should have that. It's... No, it's not really worth anything. That's unfortunate. Two Stone Ring. Not the expensive one. Gold Ring. Another Venters. Oh, all positive resistances and positive rarity, but reduced quant. That might be... Maybe... Uh. No, it's not. Currency, mirrors, please. Transmutation. Scarabs. And finally, Pillar of the Decayed God. That's worthless. Maybe not? No, that's worthless. Nope, nope. I don't think that's worth it. No, 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 not playing those. I just remembered Lore Weave. This is definitely the cheap one, right? Yeah. Lore Weave. Floor weave. Okay, do I have all the shit I need in east? Or a west? I have a west. Okay, so I have two easts. I have two easts, one north and three souths. I need a west. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm doing, if you combine the four Agnorod staffs, in a Vendor, they will give you a Vinktar square map back, and the square map's usually worth about 30c. So it's worth collecting the Agnorod. Right, I'm just going to fit all of the Cool gems I just got into their spots. This is what the domain stuff is for. For all the uh, XP leveling stuff. I have all white sockets so I can just put whatever gems I want in whatever place. Wait, no, I... More important to do the alt-quality stuff. Random, normal... Life. Those. It's a pretty successful stream! We got a lot of money worth of gems, that's for sure. A, just the sheer amount is really, really quite something. I'm feeling really good about the uh, red banners. Whoa, what? Uh, I thought this was worth... Eight. Why does it say 14 here? What is going on? Oh. Hold on a second. Is that right? Almost red banner. Oh. No, I'm silly. The 14 div ones are the corrupted ones. 
The uncorrupted ones do also start at 14. There's 14, 14, 15, 17, 25. There's only four on the market. Holy shit. Those are for the, just the normal 2020. Ow. There you go. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to corrupt that one for some reason. <laughs> because if I brick it, I will lose a lot of money. <laughs> And I don't want to lose a lot of money. Uh... Yeah, so this is what I was going by. Because it says right here, Oh, Dread Banner, 2020, not corrupted. 7-div. Seven, seven that's definitely not 7-div. Wow, okay, that's a lot of money. Ooh. I can't believe I picked up a 14 div gem. Okay, so if you see anomalous dread banner, you're doing heist, pick it up. <laughs> Cause apparently it's worth a lot of money. Uh oh, I completely forgot about the secondary regrading lens as well. Yep, 2.2 div. That is ridiculous. Can't believe I managed to get a re two secondary regretting lens and two primary regretting lenses in the same thing. Like, it's rare to see even one of them, nonetheless, three. That's ridiculous. That's really good luck this time, I gotta say. Really happy with that. Oh my gosh, it is. This is quite something. Oh, okay. We've been going for two hours now, so that means it's time to wrap up, unfortunately. But it's been fun. I don't know what, what I'm doing with my inventory right now. It's been fun. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. For everyone who's here and has been here, thank you. It always makes it so much more enjoyable to have people than it is to just play it on my own. So, nice to interact, especially when uh, y'all have things you want to talk about. That's really awesome. Oh, you're welcome, Pyro. You're very sweet. <laughs> okay. Have a great night, all of you. And, uh,. We should have a video that has just come out on the channel. Let me just link that. It's a uh, highlight from uh, the last stream, uh, or the stream before when we uh, fucking destroyed the Elder. I just thought it was fun to, like, it, just a one minute video edited down of uh, us just absolutely trivializing the Elder <laughs> with mines. Okay. I will see y'all next week on Tuesday. Same time, same place. See you then.